how to create a perfect checkout page and what not to do. Hey, the odds are already stacked against you. Some 60 to 80% of checkout pages are abandoned carts. They don't finish the process. So why would you make it worse? You don't want to make it worse. If you watch this video, I'm going to show you some of the best ways to improve your checkout page and some of the major mistakes that a lot of people make. All you have to do is erase these mistakes and your sales are going to go up. So with that having been said, please do me a favor and subscribe, hit that subscribe button down there, turn it from red to gray. Don't forget to turn on all bell notifications. So you're notified every time I go live or I upload a video, this checkout thing, guys will blow your mind as to how much money you're losing. If you don't improve these checkout pages. So what I want to do is I want to go through each individual step, show you what you can do. You can apply it to your website and you're going to make more money. Number one, forgetting to tell them about your other products. Yeah. On the checkout page, you should have an area at the bottom that has other products that are related to what they bought. They've already got their wallet out. They've already got their credit card out. They're likely to buy more products from you at that point. But keep in mind, think about this, just the number wise, if somebody's on your checkout page and you offer some products, there's a certain portion of the people that are going to add those extra products to their cart. Now flip side is if they're on the checkout page and you don't offer any other products on that checkout page, what are the odds of them adding more products? Huh? Well, they can't do it because there are no other products. So it's very important that we add more products to that checkout page, complementing products that they may also buy. Number two, not having a path to the checkout. And what I mean by that is as soon as somebody adds something to their cart, you should have an area that says go to cart to check out. If you don't do that, they may have to hunt for it. They may not be able to find that little cart at the top of your page. And if they can't find that little cart at the top of your page, guess what? It costs you money because they may not ever check out if you don't provide them with easy paths to the checkout page. Here's an example on the screen right here. This is called top shop. And every time you add something to your basket, you can go to the checkout page. You can see the big red circle there where it says go to checkout. Number three, don't make them lonesome. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is have some type of support, have some type of ticket system, some type of chat, some, something that they can do if they have a question. Now we use chat boxes and people can enter information. They can also go to the frequently asked questions page from that particular chat box, but you gotta have something. They can't go it alone. I mean, a lot of people are really good with computers and then there's a lot of people that, uh, aren't really good with computers. Okay. So if they aren't and they have a question and you're not there to help them out, you're going to lose a sale. Number four, not having any security. People want to feel secure. Make sure on your checkout page, you prominently have your guarantee, your warranty, whatever it is that you stand behind that product. And they know they won't get screwed over if they buy a product from your company, that little bit of assurance is enough to push a lot of people over the edge and make them go ahead and check out. Number five, not having product reviews. Product reviews are so important guys. Nowadays, people look at product reviews as if they are the end all be all. Now I go out to lunch a lot and uh, dinner and uh, I use Yelp and I'm always looking at the reviews to see what was written. But I'll tell you a lot of the reviews online, I think are bogus. I've, I've been on Amazon a number of times where I go to click the reviews and the reviews in there may be glowing reviews, but they're not even about the product that I'm looking at. So I don't know why people depend on these things. However, you can't go by what I think you got to go by what the masses do. And the masses say, if they see a lot of five-star ratings, a lot of really good reviews, they're probably going to buy the product. And if they don't, they probably won't. So you got to have reviews on there. Make sure you add reviews. There's a lot of softwares you can use to uh, facilitate this, find them, use them and display them. Number six, don't make them click too much. Don't make them click too much. If they got to do too much work, they may not check out now. A lot of you will have your website set up where they have to register for an account to buy a product. And while that may really help your opt-in and build your list and all that, what you don't realize is a lot of people do not want to create an account. And since they don't want to create an account, they won't buy from you. So you want to remove that from your site. So how can you collect names and how do you build your list? If you're not having them register, it's really simple on my site on survival K food. What we do is we actually have, if you want to check out uh, registered, or if you want to check out as a guest, but if you're a registered guest, you earn points. 
yeah you earn bonus points and when you earn those bonus points you can use those for future purchases so if you want to encourage somebody to do that let them do it but do it in a gentle nice way where they actually get rewarded don't just make them do extra things to buy from your company because you're gonna lose sales number seven forgetting to tell them about future offers now it's true that customers are not going to be visiting your site every day to see what the new offer is but you have to give them a way to know about your future offers let me put a website up on the screen and show you what i mean by that right here you see sign up to our newsletter i wouldn't say newsletter i would say something along the lines of get our latest sales you know put your email here or download uh, some special or some freebie or something along those lines but collecting those emails is super important to you number eight make it as uncomplicated as possible i see so many forms on websites you have billing address and you have shipping address now i understand that some of your websites are set up that way but you can get around that by having a box they can tick and it says ship to the same address as the billing make it easy for them don't make them put in information twice it's overkill and the more the more they have to fill out the lower your sales are going to be that's just a fact the easier you make it for them the better off you are and the better off it is for them and you're going to benefit with more sales number nine not allowing them to make changes oh my gosh this is a big one how many times have you been on a website and you went to buy something but you change your mind you want to get another item and you had to go back and fill out the forms all over again make it easy for them on your checkout form if they want to delete items they want to add items make it super easy for them imagine you go into a restaurant you order your dinner and you say you want soup and then you call over the waiter and the waiter says uh okay what, what can i do for you and you say well i changed that i want to have salad now not soup he goes okay well i'm gonna have to take your whole order over again yeah that would be irritating and it's irritating on sites too if they hit the back button they should get right back to the form they were already at it shouldn't wipe out everything they have and i've seen a lot of sites do this and number 10 not checking patterns and analysis now what do i mean by that you want to check what sales are happening okay you want to find out which products are more prominent than others which ones sell better than others which price points sell better what your average sale is all those things in addition to that you want to have a heat map a heat map is going to tell you where people are going on your site where are they clicking where are they going next if you see certain patterns on your website you need to fix it uh, for example we had a picture on one of our websites and uh, it was just a picture it wasn't a link it didn't go anywhere or anything like that but when we looked at the heat map we found out that a lot of people were clicking on that picture they were clicking there to go somewhere they thought it was actually a link so what did we do we put a link there and we sent them somewhere where we could make more money and it actually made us more money but if you don't know where they're going if you don't know what their patterns are if you don't know what their habits are you're missing out on a lot of business now you may be in the beginning stages where you don't have that many clicks but now's the time to do it you're much better off in the beginning to do a heat map and actually figure out what your customers are doing you're going to be shocked where they actually go you're going to be shocked where they fall off you're going to be shocked how far they scroll on your particular site what's causing them to do that you've got to figure those things out and the only way that you can do that is with data fortunately we don't live in the olden days we don't have brick and mortar stores right where you have to you know look at people coming in the store and watch where they walk every single day you, you, that would drive you crazy right but on your website you can there are patterns there are heat maps there are things you can employ on your website to improve the actual system to improve the pattern and to improve your sales so i hope this video helped you out i hope you get it now i hope you understand all these things that you can do on your site to improve your sales and to make more money now you probably really didn't think about your checkout page before it was probably just something that came with the template of your website almost all checkout pages now can be altered uh, if you have a website where it can't be altered you probably are in the wrong spot okay because most of these checkout pages can be altered now a lot of the very basic website companies that you know give you a website on the super cheap uh, they're not going to be able to make these changes and that's why you should move away from them right now uh, i highly recommend you building some sales pages in kartra uh, kartra you can make any changes you want in there uh, you can make changes to your checkout page your sales pages and all that and it's a great marketing tool if you don't know about Kartra, look down in the description. I am an affiliate for Kartra. Uh, you can click on that link and it will take you to a page where you can actually watch a video and you can see exactly what it does absolutely free. You don't have to opt in. You don't have to give your email, none of that. 
and you can see exactly what Kartra does. I highly recommend it. And if you do like it, which you will, you will, if you watch the video, you can get it for $1, just a dollar. So go check that out. Check out Kartra. It's a great way to build your sales pages. And then if you have one of those cheaper websites, you can send them from your landing page stuff on over to your website at some other point but make sure you change that website if you can't make changes on it that's a problem that's a real problem you'll want to switch companies i hope you enjoyed this uh, video if you did give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate that don't forget to comment below put any questions comments suggestions tell me what your weather is i don't know let's get a conversation going here okay <laughs> put something down below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so so far uh, click that button if it's red click it turn it gray don't forget your bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a video I really appreciate you watching on my channel there's 1100 videos on this channel there's a bunch of videos you can get a full digital education on this channel just start going through videos make it a task say uh, I'm gonna watch 10 videos a day on JR's channel uh, until I get really good at this until I make a lot of money all the things that are taught on this channel are things that work they're not theory they are actually proven things that work wouldn't you rather do that than listen to somebody else's theory I do e-commerce every single day I sell courses every single day I'm online every single day I do what I teach isn't that what you want to do you want to learn from somebody who actually does this stuff if so get in there watch more videos and I appreciate your attendance thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel